Terra Luna, Jump Crypto, Dog One. Let's talk about Doom and Gloom, their ecosystem today. No weekend can go without drama, ladies and gents. Can't happen. So this is it. And if you remember, I was a part of Terra Luna. What I mean by that is I wasn't a part of the team. I was an investor and I've literally seen my holding, the price from $130 drop to $2 while my tokens were locked on Terra Station. And right now, Terra money, well, Luna, is sitting at $1.80. Bad news. I'm literally trying to get rid of whatever my holding. Although I have to you know, sell at a loss, I don't see the future of Luna. Keeping even the team aside, Dok1, whatever aside. And that's my personal choice. You can do whatever you want, okay? There are thousands of other projects out there. But uh, literally, you could hold bag for the rest of your life waiting for some innocent guy to come and pump your bags. Or you could just make some decision and get rid of it, not get emotional about it, and look for the new opportunities. That's, that's what it is for me, okay? I've lost significant amount in Luna. Literally, I have I've done a video on this. But that's life, right? I, it wasn't my fault. How was it my fault when I wasn't even playing with Anchor? I was literally staking for mere some person APR on Terra money, and that's it. And literally saw the whole holding go down. And when they gave, her, gave us our airdrop, it was still vested. So last time when this Luna went up to $10, that was on November when the airdrop was given. Most of the people took it, like they dumped it. If you look at it, it went up all the way to seven, eight, ten dollars $10. I was still holding bags, unfortunately. It was locked. Or else I would have dumped it, 100%. Now, everyone's just holding their bags for $1.80, waiting for it to pump. All right, so that's the price there, action. Now, I want to talk about the dirty side. Let's see some dirty side. And there is no other person who can discuss this better than me. I've been an investor, all right? Totally unbiased and raw. So here it is. Jump Crypto. Let's discuss this. This came out earlier on, and as soon as I seen Jump Crypto, it reminded me of this video, interview. I watched it completely, and that's when actually I discovered about this dude, kind of career, all right? And I kind of, I don't want to actually throw out my two cents and judgment on this dude, all right? Maybe check on Twitter. He's pretty controversial. So Jump Crypto president kind of on the wormhole hack market making and crypto outlook. He explains about market making. It's big game. Just watch that video. It was an hour and a half long. So not everybody could really check it out. 32,000 views only, obviously. Okay. So literally explains about how Jump Crypto works, how he became a zero, et cetera, et cetera. Um, who leads a team of 140 inside one of the largest market makers. Now this dude, actually, this is what it came out, right? So Jump Crypto is unnamed firm that made 1.28 billion from Doquan's doomed Terra ecosystem. Okay. This wasn't last year. This was in 2021. Read this. A complaint by the SEC against Doquan and Terraform Labs revealed an unnamed trading firm helped Con restore USD's $1 peg in 2021 in exchange for discounted Luna tokens. For their own benefit, for discounted tokens. While the investors lost money, so they made $1.28 All right, good. Let's actually read some of these parts, right? And also, this happened earlier on today, which I'm going to show you a little bit of it. Twitter right now is kind of broken. Okay, meaning it's actually broken right now while I'm recording this video. A lot of tweets are not showing up and I don't know what to expect, but uh, this tweet seems interesting and that's all I'm going to check out. <coughs> all right, excuse me. So let's actually read this, finish it off. When US regulators sued Doquan and Terraform Labs this week for the spectacular, what? Spectacular implosion of the TerraUSD stablecoin and related Luna token, a huge question was left unanswered. Who was a trading partner that booked 1.28 billion in profits before te uh, Terra's 40 billion ecosystem crumbled? According to people familiar with the matter, it was Chicago-based Jump Crypto, a company whose parent has deep roots in conventional finance and has become a giant in digital assets. A spokesperson for Jump Crypto said a company had no comment. All right. The U.S. Securities and Exchange, SEC, complained this week, accused Con and Terraform of committing securities fraud and selling unregistered securities that hurt U.S. retail and institutional investors. Within the complaint, there is reference to an unnamed U.S. trading firm that had an ex exclusive market-making arrangement with Terraform Labs, uh, the developer of the U.S. stablecoin. That anonymous firm was not accused of wrongdoing, all right, but an American firm. That company, which Coinbase sources identified as Jump Crypto, was able to buy heavily discounted Luna tokens, the assets that supported USD. The firm deployed only $62 million to help keep USD's price near $1 in May 2021, according to the SEC complaint, but earned $1.28 billion by selling off discounted tokens that it had purchased according to the terms of its agreement with Terraform Labs. 
So they bought it at discounted period and they sold significant amount, 1.2 billion worth. Jump Crypto was active in the chair ecosystem, frequently posting governance proposals and heavily invested in the project. So governance proposal means they were, okay, they had a, I don't know, if you, this is called decentralization, amigos, including building a Terra cross-chain bridge and co-leading a 1 billion capital raise to seed the Luna Foundation Guard. Jump Crypto President Kanaf also served on the board of Luna Foundation Guard, which stewarded Terra's multi-billion dollar Bitcoin reserve treasury. The reserves were depleted in May 2022 in a failed attempt to restore US dollar peg and also siphoned to a Swiss bank account controlled by Kong. According, this is brutal, guys. Terraform's terms. I don't want to read so much, but this, is, this could be interesting. The last one. When the USD stablecoin briefly wobbled a few cents off as $1 peg in May 2021, Terraform framed its eventual recovery as a proof case of the success of its algorithm. But according to the SEC, the stablecoin was only actually able to recover as a result of the third party. And the third party was the jump crypto. If they were not there, th this wouldn't happen. So it stepped in to convertly buy up Terra's token to backstop the market sell-off. So jump crypto came in. Hey, we are the savior. So we can dump billions later on. Don't worry about that. But we are the savior right now, okay? So let give us all the cheap tokens. Lunas, we'll buy it. And then we can dump later on on the plebs. All right? <laughs> Which stepped in cover, uh, covertly buy up Terra's token to backstop the market sell-off. The SEC says Terra modifies market-making agreements, modified their terms, which is illegal, 100%, with the firm after the sell-off event, removing the preconditions, preconditions needed to satisfy in order to buy the discount tokens. That's fraud, ladies and gents. All right, so now without wasting further time, let's actually check on this tweet. Page 16, page 24. Yes, that's me. I mean, the court documents filed by the SEC against stablecoin. Wow, Cosmos Joe is a part of it now. All because of an NFT collection on Stargate Zone. What now, Doe? Can we do a space at least? So this was the thing. And yeah, Dokwon was, for some reason, Dokwon has Cosmos Joe picture. They're just taunting on each other for some shenanigan that happened. All right. So you'd appreciate this. And again, I don't want to go into any deeper thing, but there's something going on right now. Something big in Terra. All right. So ladies and gents, my question to you is, are you still involved in terms of are you holding your bags do you still are you hopeful about this whole terra people talk about hey remove dog one the terra team is awesome but the terra name itself whenever you think about terra you think about dog one you think about the collapse will people ever be able to forget about it will they really like forget about it and move on i'm not too sure about that there are a lot of content creators just exclude me all right who might not even talk about luna and people might forget it, all right? Then what happens? Personally, I'm, I, I can see it, okay? And uh, there also, Luna team, the developers tried to go on to Juno and do certain things. I don't think it worked out. So um, yeah, you do whatever, but uh, I need justice, okay? I don't see anywhere Luna going to $100 ever back. Even a lot of people bought it at $120, 30 it's insane. Okay, a lot of Twitter shillers with millions of followers said Lunar would go to $1,000. Literally, I created a video on it as well. I have a playlist where I said Luna could be the best thing ever. All right, and then the whole collapse, and I also documented the whole process. So stay safe, be vigilant, and I'll see you in the next video.